All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. And word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow, Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face? A name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack. In a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. Great time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, a little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher, how's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Hey, Sims, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I want it all up here. Bell, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds, check in when ready. Badger Niner 1, good to go. Badger Niner 2, clear to go. Badger Niner 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Break up and pull. Sitting comfortably. Oh man, Asla. Why do I get the feeling you're about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. The news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because a source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town, a Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Tough two, light him up.
It's on you, Bell. Open the door. Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset.
somehow Percy is new. Zimps! Help! You okay? <laughs> can call this a success, Sims? At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. analyzing the names Bell acquired at Tanang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. MI6 has been tracking Volkov for several days. Is my strong we'll talk on the drive, Bell. Here to entertain me. Are you being funny? Did we not just go through this? Look, I could say so many things right now. No. Forget about it. It's good. Only when they tell me not to. This assignment, I'm mostly gonna run the shop. Whatever you guys need, I'll make sure you have it. You see, I got a list of connections longer than the Great Wall. Adler needs it, I could procure it. No exceptions. Sure, I could get that. No problem. Easy. I can have that in-house by next week. Mm, clever. But I wasn't joking earlier. 
That's a hell of a request, but give me enough time and I can have one parked outside. Okay. Now how you gonna pay for that? Last I heard, Adler cuts the checks around here. Unless you got a suitcase full of cash, I'm gonna consider your request null and void. Yeah. Yeah, he's here. Doc, I think you want this one. That until you found in Da Nang was treasure trove. Well, you tell me. After we dug it up, you spent two full hours decrypting everything inside. You seem to think Volkov was the name to pay attention to. Are you feeling all right, Bell? That's one of the reasons we wanted you on this team. Not even the CIA's best cryptographers have been able to crack that dossier. You're special, Bell. But it also sounds like you need a nap. We have, for a short while. We share a common interest. Though to be frank, he's not the most pleasant person I've worked with. No more than you need to, I'll tell you that. Avoid personal questions. And whatever you do, Never ask him about his scar. Do you really think that if I knew, I would tell you? You're cute. Born on the coast of Leningrad, never travels when the sun's out. He has impeccable taste in scotch and medieval torture devices. I think he'd love the UK. I plan on giving him a personal tour. My pleasure. Nice work producing that name, Bell. We archive everything. CIA is like my ex-wife. Won't throw a damn thing away. The trick is knowing what's buried in that pile and getting the thing you need when you need it. Did I ever see his face? No. That photo on the board is all we have, and it's more than 20 years old. Handsome man. I hope the years weren't kind to him. Just Langley, nothing to worry about. They want to make sure Park hasn't killed Lazar yet. We'll leave within the hour. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you got something to say about it, hit down in the comment section. And if you want to be part of the Screaming Eagles for more exclusive content, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more upcoming videos by Jed Eagle 101. Have a good one.